Hey, it's Randy, K7AGE. I'm out at the Titan Missile Museum, south of Tucson. And what we can do is hook up to this giant HF disc cone antenna that's out here. I have a box here, you hook the coax up to your radio. We're gonna hook it up inside the motor home. Another shot of the antenna, you can see the, the hat up on the top and that wires come down to this ring expand out and then come back down to the bottom and uh, have a conduit here with the feed line going over. Here's a sign out here for amateur radio operators. Go ahead and hook up your radio to the antenna. Go into the visitor center and sign in and this is sponsored by the Green Valley Amateur Radio Club. Inside the motorhome now and I've got my MFJ um, 269 antenna analyzer. I thought I'd take a look to see what the antenna looks like and it's seven megs it's about 1.7 1.8 swr up at uh, 7.3 it's about 2.4 so the antenna tuner i have with the radio will help make the radio happy so now i'm on 20 meters the swr at the low end of the band is about 2.0 2.1 and if i go up to 14.35 thereabouts it's about 1 1.6 so works better on up on 20 and just for grins I'm up on uh, at 15 meters 21 megs it's about 3 2.93 SWR and um, at the high end of uh, 15 it's about 2.2 so you probably need an antenna tuner to use the antenna Go ahead. The name is Bob Bravo Oscar Bravo I'm in uh, Derby Kansas just south of Wichita Okay, we're good in Kansas, doing a good signal, and um, really, uh, at 20 works pretty good with this antenna here. Again, we're operating an FT857, and operating it off my Bio-NO battery. Uh, I got one of these 30 amp hour ones. KE0REM from K7AGE. Uh, K7AGE, I hope the weather there is a whole lot warmer than it is here in Kansas. We're, we're supposed to actually make it to 40 degrees today and up to about uh, 50, I think, tomorrow. But it's been uh, not cold like Minnesota and the northeast part of the state, but it's been pretty chilly down around. Uh, oh, we've had freeze or uh, wind chills below zero and maybe maybe 10 below the last couple of days. So it's warming up again for our, our second spring this year already. Yeah, okay, we've been watching the news with the polar uh, vortex freezing out the north Bundle central back <laughs> up and start the campfire. KE0REM from K7AGE. Did I understand you said you're camping? Is that, I hope that's in a camper and not a tent. Uh, we were camping at Quartzsite. I have a little travel trailer and I'm in my brother-in-law's motorhome. We've driven that down here. He lives uh, about a half hour north from the antenna here. And uh, so we're sitting in the motorhome, just had our lunch, and he was with me and a few other friends out there at Quartz, Quartz Fest. Go ahead. That sounds like fun. I've never been on any of those. I've, I've had my uh, general now for about, oh, six months or, or less, I guess, and uh, you're my, I think, my eighth contact now. But, uh, <laughs> uh, you're coming in real well here. Uh, I don't know how I'm coming in out there. I've got a... Uh, IC 7300 with a horizontal in fed wire. And it's, that's my poor little antenna in my backyard, and it goes it's diagonally working. across the yard just as long as it'll go. And or, you know, it's still got more of a sag in it than I'd like. Well, it seems to be working good today. You're a good S S9 Plus, uh, good audio. I'm glad to be your number eight. And if you um, go on to my YouTube channel, just search for K7AGE. I posted a bunch of videos uh, from out there at Quartz Fest. So, well, let's go ahead. Uh, I'm down to nothing but a pickup that I can reclaim the driver's seat in. That's about it right now. But, uh, <laughs> you should be ahead of me. I, well, you'd make a good Elmer for somebody. Uh, I haven't currently gotten one, and uh, I'll tell you, sometimes this IC7300 talk about it being a beginner radio or an entry level radio but it's got lots of little hidden menus that you have to dig through and sometimes well, the other day i had no audio going out when i was calling cq i found out that i've been messing around and i press press the uh the data button which mutes the mic which kind of kills the pipe band 
Yeah, the band's changing. You've dropped way, way down here as well. So maybe we should just uh, kind of call it quits here, Bob. And it's been nice talking to you, being your number eight in the log. Anyway, you have fun. Enjoy your 7300. It does work. Tune around and make make some contract contact. This is KE uh, KE zero REM from K7 AG. K7 REM is going to uh, go bye bye. Yes, thank you again for your time, Randy. Bye. Okay, bye bye, Bob. Thanks. Yeah, thanks a lot. KN4 JGJ from K7 AGE. Okay, very good. Yeah, it's a little rough with you. I'll we'll sign with you there. KN4, Juliet Golf Juliet from K7AGE. Looking for any other station. Uh, try again. K something Romeo Whiskey Ocean, maybe? Yeah, about all I got is the call. K2RWO, Kilo 2 Radio Whiskey Oscar from K7AGE. Try again for your name and location. And what's your name and uh, location again? Okay, 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 Ray, I got it, I got it, Ray. K2 RWW, oh, no, K2 RWO from K7 AGE. Uh, you're probably about a 5354. Five, okay, Ray, I'm going to sign with you. You're, it's the you're pretty pattern. rough and rough in here, but you're in the log, K2 RWO from K7 AGE. Alpha Golf Echo, Alpha Golf Echo. Thank, thank you, 7373 Ray. It's K7AGE, QRZ. Kilo Charlie 5, Officer Mike Charlie. Kilo Charlie 5, go ahead. That's my Wilson. Kilo Charlie 5, Oscar Mike Charlie. That's Mark, Mike Alpha Romeo Kilo. Located in Muskoka, Oklahoma. In the northeastern part of Muskoka, Randall. Over. Very good, Mark. KC0OMC from K7AGE. You must be looking at my QRZ page. The name's Randy. And uh, we're operating here from the Titan Missile Museum. We pulled up the motorhome and uh, run the coax out the window and hook up to this giant discone antenna. And I'm running a FT857 here. And it's, I don't know, maybe about 70 degrees and a little cloudy today from, from South Tucson. So you're doing good. Good signal from Oklahoma. You're good 5.9 uh, plus here. Go ahead, Mark. Thanks, Randall. Hey, you're about 5.7, uh, seven, about 5.7 five, seven here in Oklahoma. So uh, tell me more about that, Randy. Y'all travel around the motorhome, or uh, what do you got going on there? Well, it's kind of a long trip for me here. I live in Gold Beach, Oregon, and uh, spent three days to drive down to Quartzsite, Arizona. I uh, arrived there last Friday for Quartz Fest, the big seven-day ham fest out there in the desert and uh, there's about a thousand people registered in the ham radio group and then uh, we packed up there on Sunday and uh, went to my brother-in-law's house in Tucson and hanging out for a few days so we loaded up the motorhome and came here and then Sunday we uh, fly to Orlando and spend a couple days there visiting friends and I'm going to the Hamcation Ham Fest on 
Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Monday I uh, fly back to Tucson. I think about uh, Wednesday or Thursday I get in the truck and pull the trailer back up to Oregon. Go ahead. Wow, Randy. <laughs> Quite a trip. Well, I, you know, at, at least uh, you picked the right part of the country for the right time of the year. So, uh, you know, you guys got to be having some pretty decent weather down there. It's a lot better than what we don't hear. And, and, and the folks up in the north and northeast for sure. Randy, the band's kind of switching around on us. They're kind of up and down on me. I had a little bit of problems with that last transmission. So I'm going to say 73. Enjoy yourself out there. Take care. Be safe. K7 ATE. This is Kilo Charlie 5. Oscar Mike Charlie. 73, Randy. Y'all have a good time. Uh, KC5 OMC from K7 AGE. Thanks for coming back to my CQ and, and have a good day. Uh, 73 is K7AGE. QRZ? Oh, yeah, whiskey one. Did I get that India Delta Papa? Did I get that right? You got it. Okay, W1IDP from K7AGE. You got a real good signal. We're operating from the Titan Missile Museum here in Green Valley. Arizona, south of Tucson. So, W1IDP from K7AGE. Yeah, fine, uh, Randy. K7AGE, W1IDP. I yeah, was just tuning around and ran across here, and there, Randy, just finished up lunch. And of course, I'm familiar with that. I'm also from Green Valley. And uh, that's why you're hearing me so well. Sounds good. That's something I always wanted to try. Hook up to that antenna. And uh, I bet you're having a good time with it. The band seems to be pretty good. And I really love Oliver and Continental. This is k 7 ace W1IDP. Okay, Jerry, very good. W1IDP from K7AGE. W1IDP from K7AGE. I've been on the air uh, well, quite a bit lately. Uh, just recently got the station together thanks to the nice guys there from the club. Uh, we got the uh, tower up to 30 feet and uh, the antenna is an MA5B. It's a 5-band mini-beam ready. Okay, Jerry, very good. W1 IDP, K7 AGE. Well, your mini beam's doing good. Well, we're probably just mostly ground wave here. And uh, yeah, I've been talking all over here. Uh, oh, gee, Kansas, Nebraska, Wisconsin, Tennessee, Ohio, Oklahoma, and Green Valley. Go ahead. <laughs> Okay, Jerry. Well, thanks for coming back to my CQ and tuning by and hearing me and you know giving me a yell here. So you take care. Yeah, and gather up some of your buddies and get a radio and a battery and a little hunk of coax. There's a picnic table out here. You just can hook it right to the back of your radio and get out here and be radioactive and and make some noise here. So W1IDP from K7AGE 73s and thanks, Jerry. Uh, K7AGE, copy K2RWO once again. Wow, you really came up. 
Well, two things happened, I think, Randy. The propagation just flips around for us, and I clip the linear on. So you're coming in beautifully, and I hope I'm doing as good as you. Over. You must have a bi-directional linear there if it's helping my signal. <laughs> but yeah, you just a uh, real good signal there, there now, uh, Ray. You're doing real good. Good, good to hear. Good to hear. Uh, I just wanted to get back in before I put you the log because, like I said, you came up, uh, you know, times a thousand. Hey, that great big disco antenna, man. I wish I had some equipment with me when I was out there. Uh, I don't know what uh, what possessed me to go back and not bring anything. I took a tour of the silo. Yeah. Listen, let me let you go. There's probably a bunch out there trying to get a hold of you. I just wanted to make a good contact and put uh, some good readings into my into my logs. Be well, uh, Randall. Have a good time and enjoy that great big antenna. K2RW will be clear on your final. Okay, Ray. Thanks for. Um, Ohio. November 5, Zulu, Quebec, Kilo, Mobile from K7AGE. Randy here at the Titan Missile Museum in Arizona. Go ahead. Yeah, hi, Randy. Uh, good to meet your acquaintance. Name here is Rob, the Romeo Oscar Bravo. Uh, you're a solid 5'9". I'm in Carrollton, Texas currently. And uh, interesting to hear that you're at the Titan Missile Museum. I visited that museum, gosh, probably back in like 1987. N5ZQK slash mobile. And what are you driving from K7AGE? Yeah, we're good, Rob. Yeah, it's nice, a nice little package. That's a nice a little radio. That's a, yeah, you're going pretty fast down the road. Okay, Rob, very good. N5ZQK Mobile K7AG. Doing good. KE0BHY K7AGE. Uh, Rob, you're on that. Well, listen, I'll let you uh, continue to make contact because you got strong signal into uh, San Antonio. And, uh, uh, so you ought to be able to make contact everywhere today. The, the band seems to be uh, working pretty good anyway. And uh, so uh, I'll just. Uh, uh, have a good time with it. Uh, be careful on your trip down to Orlando. I'm going to let the pilot do the flying for that. Uh, Alright, you're on that. And uh, you're going back to one of our favorite spots, too. Uh, we, we get out there uh, in the motorhome. Uh, uh, so we'll thank those guys for having us out there. It's a beautiful country out that way. Yeah, we really enjoy it along the ocean there. So. Uh, yeah, W9RWB from K7AGE. Well, I don't know if I'd go quite that far, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> it's still okay. Uh, I'm hoping that uh, at some point uh, I can take this stuff on the road. Uh, the A57 is, uh, is a wonderful radio. It does a lot, of course. It has some shortcomings with all the menus and so forth, but once you get it dialed in, it's fine. And um, uh, having run it uh, in the in my motorhome at the time with the uh, hex beam, uh, which was pretty interesting, did have a few uh, camp uh, owners uh, kind of frown in the beginning about having this uh, hex beam mount on the side of my rig. So to get away from that, Randy, I threw a few socks over the top of it in front of the clothesline, and they left me alone after that. 
N6 WI maybe? N6 WI, go ahead. Thank you. N6 WN, November 6, Whiskey, November 10 watts. Yeah, okay, November 6, Whiskey, November with 10 watts. You're doing good here at the um, Titan Air, or, or the Titan Missile Museum here in Arizona. My name is Dan Curtis. My location is Medford, Oregon. <laughs> Oh, well, you're just um, in my local neighborhood. If I was home, the home KTH is Gold Beach. Go ahead. Roger that. You're, we're at Gold Beach. And thank you very much. I'm testing this out for the Rogue Valley Manor. Okay, well, you're doing S8. I got a FT857 here operating in the motorhome at the Titan Missile Museum. So, Dan, you're doing good for Medford, N6WN. With your QRP, what type of radio do you have? This is Telecraft KX3. Oh yes, yes, very nice radio. Thank you much, yeah. and let me uh, yeah. sign off. I appreciate the contact. N6 WN. W9 RWB from K7AGE. We've done enough there. Uh, nice little short queue. Uh, I know uh, you're sitting on top of there and people want to get back to you, but uh, I appreciate the queue. So I didn't see you in my log. I've got you in there now. I appreciate uh, the contact. Hopefully you will do it again. Have fun down there. And uh, you never know where we uh, might pop up. Uh, like I said, it's on my bucket list. Hopefully at some point we can get there. I'll say 73 is your now. Thanks again and have fun out there. Have a great what's left of the week. And uh, hopefully we'll catch you again real soon. The Whiskey 9, Radio Whiskey Bobby, Randy in Kennedy will be clear. Seven threes. Okay, Randy, thanks. And thanks a lot here at, uh, and this afternoon. W9RWB from K7AGE73. It's not working, is it? No. <laughs> CQ, 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 CQ20, CQ20, CQ20 from Kilo 7, Alpha, Golf Echo. Kilo 7, Alpha, Golf Echo, K7AGE, calling CQ, operating from the Titan Missile Museum in Green Valley, Arizona, hooked up to the giant disco antenna out here. K7AGE, CQ. Kilo India 7, Vector Delta Sierra. Kilo India, go ahead. Yeah, this is Kilo India 7, Vector Delta Sierra. Uh, just a little southeast of Portland, Oregon, go ahead. Yeah, very good. Name is Randy, and again, we're located at the Titan Missile Museum. Hey there, K7AGE, KI7ZDS. Yeah, we're on a uh, holiday here. I'm just uh, uh, an older kid with 450SAT and a uh, tri-band dipole, uh, 75. Well, thanks for jumping in. That's what we're doing. Yeah, you know, everybody says the bands are dead, but, you know, get on there and generate some RF and, you know, see what happens. Well, uh, you know, I guess it's the old thing where you don't know if you're going to do it until you try. And, uh, you know, you're, you're doing a, oh, I'd say about a 5.5 up here. Uh, it is fading in and out a little bit, but uh, you're good copy. No, no problem there. Yeah, okay. Well, I've worked all over. Uh, see here. So uh, KI7 VDS, K7 AGE. Yeah, we spent a week at uh, Quartz Fest, the week-long ham fest thing out there in the desert, and now a uh, week in Tucson. Seven AGE. I got a piece of AGE. Uh, yeah, the ASM BDS here. Yeah. Well, uh, the, the primary thing for me is I, I want to go inside and see the spruce goose, uh, you know, which uh, was not very aptly named because the whole thing was made out of birch, but uh, <laughs> or whatever. Uh, I, I really want to see that. That's uh, that, that's one fantastic airplane. 
yeah, you can get inside it as part of the museum admissions, but if you want to get up in the front, it's it's like another $25. I'm going to sign with you, Gary. I've been working a lot of stations and see if we can uh, scrounge up some more here this afternoon. Yeah, I'm in the K7 ADE, I'm KX7 PDS. Nice talking to you. Take care. Uh, have a good uh, rest of the day talking to you. Yeah, I don't think you want to have the snow sitting on the Kenwood. Go ahead. Oh, very good. I know that's a, a, a real nice looking radio, a nice big display on there, and gives you the waterfall and the spectrum. And, and Yeah, this is the first one I've ever had with a waterfall. Uh, I was looking for some other options, and, and then this one came out, and I was on the fence. So I was kind of saving my pennies up for a uh, 990, but uh, this came up. I just have to have the money, so I just uh, drove up there and told them, okay, I'll take one. Well, that's good. It's probably about half the price of a 990. Well, yeah, not quite half. It was, uh, with the speaker, it was uh, 45 out the door. I think the 990 is a little over 5,000. I, I forget how much. It was, it was close to the six. Today, Jim. KD8 FMU K7 AGE. Alright, well, I'm going to have to back out of here. I'm, uh, I was chasing DX and I heard you in there. I seen the thing on uh, Ham Nation uh, was this, this morning sometime that about the crystal, uh, crystal fest out there. So I heard you in there, so I thought I'd just wave a hand. Well, I'm waving back. Go ahead. I hear you. Aye, aye. All right, we'll say 73s and we'll catch you later. It's KD8FMU. All right. All right, Jim, thank you very much. KD8FMU, K7AGE, 73. 73, thank you. 590SE, and I'm still learning it. Go ahead. Yeah, okay, Mike, N0BAV, K7AGE. Now, I don't have the new radio. That was the other fellow. That was Jim there with his TS890. I think so. If you go to their website, I'm not sure if that shows it on there. Um, I posted a couple pictures on my Twitter account, and uh, and I got the video camera going here, so there'll be another video here in a few days. Okay. Well, very good. Well, I I didn't catch which one of you got the new Kenwood, but uh, both of you were sounding just very, very, uh, <coughs> very good. So yeah, I remember seeing that. I thought that was kind of neat where you could pull up and run your coax off and uh, hit the junction box and use that gigantic antenna. That's kind of a, maybe I ought to do that and then charge for it here out here, high high. <laughs> <laughs> Although uh, uh, the antenna I'm using on the radio right now, and this new radio is uh, just an off center fed dipole at about 30 feet, <coughs> multi-banded. So uh, I still got my original stations all hooked up to the beam and all that. I just playing with this one, as I said, when I'm trying to learn how to how to, uh, to work it, so. Uh, thank you for coming back to me. At least I know the radio is working, at least this portion of it on 20 meters. And the antenna is getting out, so, and the antenna is oriented east and west, so. Uh, KL, or not KL, K7AGE, N0BAV. Okay, Mike, N0BAV, K7AGE. Well, your NVED's doing good today. Your S9 Plus, no problem copying. Uh, the band is good right now. Well, I'll let you go, Randy. Thanks for taking my call. Appreciate it. <coughs> K7AGE, N0BAV. Okay, Mike, well, thanks for coming back to my CQ. And, uh, you got, sounds like we're starting to get some band. You know, uh, yeah, I'm sorry. It's been going up and down. We've been operating for, I don't know, two hours out. Out here, we made about 15 contacts so far. Go ahead. 
75 and uh, a few clouds. 75 and a few clouds. <laughs> You're starting to fade now. Go ahead. Yeah, very good, Jeremy. Very good. Uh, KG5 WDD from K7 AGE. CQ, 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 CQ20, CQ20. CQ20 from Kilo 7, Alpha Golf Echo, K7 AGE calling CQ. Operating from the Titan Missile Museum, hooked up to the giant discount antenna. K7 AGE calling CQ and bye. W6 station, go ahead. Yeah, W6OPO, Whiskey 6, Oscar, Papa Oscar, Bob in San Jose. Bob in San Jose. W6OPO from K7AGE, Randy at the Titan Missile Museum. Go ahead. Yeah, okay, Bob. Yes, we're hooked up to the giant HF disco antenna. Oh. W6OPO from K7AGE. Your name? Uh, my name is Randy. Randy, go ahead. All right, Randy, very good. Yeah, I'm Brian from Gold Beach, uh, being your home. Um, yeah, now, is that this antenna? That's in Arizona, is that right? Yes, it's south of Tucson, south of Tucson. Yeah, okay, south of Tucson. Very good. Well, signals are just up and down, and uh, it may be fading back out, but... Um, anyway, I wanted to say hi for your, uh, your CQ, and uh, you're very nice in San Jose, Rob, with uh, 65 degrees here. Probably. So enjoy, Randy. K7 AGE by the disc phone antenna. Please just go plug in. Okay, Bob, very good. W6 OPL from K7 AGE. Alrighty, 75 degrees, very pleasant. <laughs> 73, Randy, W6 OPO. 73. K7AGE, this you copy Kilo Zero from Fox Trot, Lima Mobile. There's a Kilo Zero, go ahead. Fox Trot, November Lima Mobile in uh, Colorado. Uh, name is Mark, and uh, just uh, heard your signal in there. Uh, on a discount antenna, you've got a great signal here. Okay, K0 FNL Mobile in Colorado. Okay, Mark, very good. There's another station, we'll get to him here in a minute. Name's Randy, and yes, we're at the Titan Missile Museum, operating hooked up to this giant HF disco and antenna. So go ahead, Mark. Oh, very good. Uh, I was wondering how many uh, responses that disco and have, how many bands will it work over? Um, I checked it on 80, the SWR was kind of high. It seemed to be about in the two and a half to three on 40, 20, and, uh, and 15, that's all I checked. Um, when I was using my antenna tuner, I was getting some RF back into the radio, so I'm just running the radio uh, straight into the antenna. Oh, very good. Yeah, it's got a great signal. Uh, I imagine it's probably a pretty big antenna for an HF disc cone. Do you happen to know the uh, parameters of lengths of, um, of elements? Um, it's hard to say. I'm going to guess it's... Uh, 40 to 50 feet in diameter, I don't know, maybe 60 feet tall. It's at least 60. Yeah, and the wires come down, and there's a big uh, circular ring, so the wires come down from the top and hit the ring, and then they um, pull back down to the base, so the um, the ring is probably two-thirds the way down from the top, and there's like a giant capacitive hat on the top of it. Oh, very good. Yep, it's working well. I'm talking uh, from a mobile an FT891 in my pickup, and I'm using an STC tuner mounted in my toolbox uh, into a 102-inch uh, whip mounted on a ball on the outside of the toolbox. Okay, you're the second 891 I've talked to in a pickup truck today. <laughs> Go ahead. Yeah, real good. It works works very well on uh, on 20 meters, not bad on 40 meters, and I built some coils for 40 and 80 for it, so uh, pretty happy with the setup. Okay, sounds like you got some other stations wishing to work you, so I will not keep you. Thanks for the contact. 
Temperature here is about 32 degrees in Loveland, Loveland, Colorado. And I'll let you go. This is Kilo Zero, Fox Trot, November Lima. Okay, Kilo Zero, FNL, Mobile, from K7AG. Okay, Mark. Uh, thanks for coming back to my CQ. It's 75 degrees out here in Arizona today, so I'll, I'll say 73 and looking for you, looking for any other stations. Go ahead. Kilo Delta Zero, Mike Quebec Oscar. Kilo Delta Zero, Mike Quebec Oscar. Go ahead. Uh, Roger that, Randy. Uh, it's good to hear from you. I follow your YouTube channel, and I think the time to look up the uh, science missile silo. Okay, very good. And what's your name and location? Uh, Hamble here is Frank, and I am just east of Kansas City, Missouri. Okay, Frank, you're mm -hmm. in Kansas City. Go ahead. Hey, Roger, the 75 is cloudy. Uh, it's sunny here, and it's it really warmed up. It's up to about 32 degrees today, <laughs> so uh, yesterday, actually this morning, it was almost zero in Kansas City, so it's been kind of a cold snap. So uh, we're just looking forward to the summer. Uh, enjoy your time out there. Uh, the 73 is, I'll let you get back to other people. So uh, good talking with you, and uh, 73. <laughs> Okay, Frank, well, thanks for coming back to my uh, CQ there. So, KD0MQO from K7AGE73 and QRZ. KF7ZKA. ZF7ZKA, did I get that right? Kilo Fox 7ZKA. I'm uh, right here in Sayurita, so uh, I'm probably talking to you on ground wave, but I am also with those and there at the Missile Museum. And uh, I just wanted to come in and say hello. I certainly am. Very good, Rick. KF7ZKA from K7AGE. Okay, very good. If you have a mind to, I'd like to come down and just say hello. Uh, would that be okay? Uh, sure. We're parked right here in the great big motorhome. No, I know it well. Uh, since I work at the museum, I operate from there. So I'll be down in about 15 or so if that will work for you. Yeah, we're, we're still here. Okay, see you in a little bit. Uh, K7AGE, this is KF7ZKA. Okay, KF7ZKA from K7AGE. We'll see you in a few minutes. K7AGE, CQ. Maybe you see it. Kilo Hotel 6, India, India. Kilo Hotel 6, India, India from K7AGE. Go ahead. Uh, this is Kilo Hotel 6, India, India. Name is Hugo. I'm located in Carrollton, Texas. Uh, what was Let's your call again? again? Say again. Kilo 7, Alpha, Golf Echo. Is this a special event? Um, not really. I'm just out here operating. Oh, Roger, Roger. How cool is that? Well, okay. Very nice working you. Well, you're coming in fine here in Carrollton, Texas. And, uh, of course, uh, there is some uh, uh, fading a little bit, but then that's the bad conditions probably. But, uh, yeah, thanks for taking the call. Okay, it's exciting. Okay. Oh, okay, Roger, Roger. Well, like I said, you're coming in here five nine, no problem. And I'm using a uh, ICOM seventy three hundred, feeding an in bed antenna, wire antenna, uh, about eight long and about ten feet high. Uh, no power, just hundred watts. Go ahead. The seventy three hundred and the end fed are doing good. Yeah, KH six II K seven A G E. Okay, who go? Very good. KH6II, your signal is increasing. Your S9 plus here. Your signal is about a 57 into the Sacramento area. The handle here is Barry. Bravo Alpha Romeo Romeo Yankee. Back to you, sir. Okay, Barry in Sacramento. <clears throat> S9 plus here today using an FT857. Go ahead. Roger, Andy. Copy that. Uh, I got some QRM uh, from some nearby uh, traffic, so. I might have a little problem copying. 
Well, you're doing fine at the moment. You got a real, uh, real strong, a real strong signal. Go ahead. Roger. Yeah, I've uh, talked to a few people uh, from that site over there. Uh, it'd be an interesting way or uh, place to go and uh, hook up your radio and see what happens. But uh, originally, I copied about a five nine, and then it dropped down a little bit. So uh, it's probably just propagation. Back to you. And WJ6N. I'll say seventy three from K seven AGE. Bye bye, 73. K7 AGE, QRZ. Hello, Gulf 5, Sierra Foxtrot. Kilo, Golf 5, Sierra Foxtrot. I'm not sure if there's anything more to it. KG5 SF from K7 AGE. Sierra Foxtrot Lima. Lima. Sierra Foxtrot Lima. Now I got it. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Calling out of uh, Broken Air, Oklahoma. Got you five nine plus ten here. Name is Fred. Over. Okay, Fred. Very good. Yes, sir. And, uh, I, uh, yeah, to the SP eight ninety one off center fed and front and pair at a hundred watts. Over. Your 891 is doing good. You're the third one of those I've worked today. So that's the, so far, the most popular radio. Go ahead. Yes, sir. It's the right price, and I just got lucky when I got it because I'm really happy with it. Uh, it works fine. It's easy to, easy to do, and uh, it makes uh, talking on the radio easy. What uh, <laughs> town is, you're in Arizona there, what town is that close to, sir? Over. Yeah, it's in Green Valley, Arizona. Yes, sir. I got this down now, and that's what I tell you. Your audio is just uh, perfect here, sir. Over. Okay. Yes, sir. I uh, talked to uh, a couple of people out of that uh, the the court uh, uh, venue there, and looked up some of them on the uh, TRZ, and uh, it's a pretty interesting place. Over. <clears throat> yeah, we had over a thousand people register in the ham group. A lot going year. on. Go ahead. Okay, Fred, well, your 891 and a wire is doing fine business today. So, KG5SFL from K7AGE, 73 and QRZ. K7AGE, CQ and bye. Kilo Golf 5, India Lima Papa. Kilo Golf 5, India Lima Papa. Go ahead, K7AGE, Randy here. Yeah, very good, Bill. Um, it's uh, pretty neat. They got a picnic table and a box out here. You can just pull out the coax and hook up. It's seven here. Go ahead. Well, that sounds like the height of luxury and mobile sheet. So I'm, <laughs> I'm very sheet, jealous and extra jealous because you have some nice weather. Uh, it's been pretty cold up here in Oklahoma. So uh, anyhow, I'll let you guys get on uh, to your uh, to your day and. We've got a great signal here, it's about 5 8, 5 9, a uh, little QSB or it'd be perfect. So I'll just say 73s and, uh, and thanks for activating the really, really cool site. Okay, Bill, well, I've, I've worked about 20 stations. In fact, uh, one of the guys I talked to uh, about 15 minutes ago was walking in the door here. So, <laughs> so I'll let you go and uh, a nice, nice chat right here today. Uh, Bill, yeah, KT5, yeah, I, 